People of all ages gathered tonight to honor the fallen officer. Chase Bachman is live tonight in Finley with the details. And Chase, talk to us about how important tonight was for these folks in the region. Well, Jeff, there was a recurring theme at the vigil. Everything Dominic Francis did was to make people better, whether that was Dominic Francis, the officer, the teacher, the coach, or even the father. People say he wanted them to be their absolute best. I said he was a hero. I need to make a little bit of a correction. In that. He was actually a superhero. It was a day filled with sadness. Family and friends from Bluffton, students and teachers from Corey Rawson, all together for fallen officer Dominic Francis. Just by the number of people there, you could see how many lives Francis touched. He never let you stop, and it was, and that was in the best way possible. Um, he was just always pushing you, and just because he wanted you to be the best. The vigil included members of the Bluffton University football team. While Francis didn't coach the team, they say he made an impact as an officer just hours before he died. He came to turn off the fire alarms in Newfield and he was cracking jokes with us and having a good time while we were staying out there. And he's just a great guy, so he came to show support as a team. Terry Hunt is a minister who spoke at the vigil. He's also a former EMT who worked with Francis at accident scenes for more than 20 years. He's a great man. Ask him to do anything, he would be right there to help. And I think this is an incredible expression of our, of our love and our appreciation for what he has done. It's a great expression for this community. Corey Ross and students say there wasn't anybody like him in the school. Even if he wasn't family, he will be missed as if he were. There wasn't really anyone you can compare him to. I mean, he was he was up there and he, he did everything. And not, not many people I know that, that would do that much for, for a community. And the Finley chapter of the Fraternal Order of Police is collecting donations to help support the Francis family. You can donate through their website, and we have the link at WTOL.com. Reporting live in downtown Finley, Chase Bachman for WTOL 11. Jeff. Chase, thank you. This is a story that will continue to develop over the weekend and into next week. You can track it online right now. We will post updates as we learn more on our website, WTOL.com.